Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. It is currently 8.50 in the morning and we just, we as in Scarlett and I, we just pulled up to the gym. This has kind of been like our new routine is we get up in the morning and immediately go work out. Um, it's like really good to get it out of the way first thing in the morning. Typically I've just been like running two miles, two to three miles, and then I do weights. So very, very simple. Anyways, today's video is gonna be a day in the life video, but I am gonna be doing a lot of packing because we actually leave for Kansas tomorrow. I'm so, so excited to go see my family. It's been way too long. We were supposed to go back a couple months ago, but um, with COVID and everything, we had to reschedule. But we get to go back this time for my grandparents' 50th anniversary. So that'll be really nice to be part of. But um, yeah, we leave tomorrow, so today we have to get everything packed. So that's on our agenda today. I figured I would just take you guys through our day and to show you what our day looks like prior to traveling. You look beautiful today. <laughs> okay, we just picked up Starbucks. Scarlett got her croissant that she always gets. A croissant and then I got my iced coffee I do um, the salted cream cold foam on top and then I was feeling extra today so I got two pumps of vanilla we are home and I just took a shower I'm about ready to put on a little bit of makeup I haven't worn makeup for like a week so I'm gonna put a little bit of something on today I'm gonna share a few of my new favorites with you guys too and then I'm gonna work on getting this stuff cleaned and we're gonna get started on Packing. Okay, so I I got a cake for you. A cake for me. This is getting ready with a toddler. This is why I don't put on makeup. <laughs> wow, thank you. I love it. So I asked and I listened to you guys, and y'all were recommending. She's in her room singing really loud, but um, it cosmetics is what I went with. This is the color light, and I got the um, the brush that goes with it too to apply it. So my first thoughts on this is I love it. Um, Mom, Mom. It has that 50 SPF. Mommy. What? Can I have milk? Milk? Yes. I'll get up and get mm. you some right now. Can I lie okay. down? Yes. Thank you. Okay, can you let me get ready after this? No. Okay, I'm back for probably like five minutes, so I need to make this fast. Um, anyways, as I was saying, I like this a lot. It is a major, like, major full coverage. Um, I was wanting something a little bit easier to apply and lighter because this covers a lot. Um, but on the other hand, this is a great um, like full face foundation in my opinion. It's just very, it's not heavy, but it covers a lot and it doesn't blend the easiest in my opinion, um, but I still like it. And I'm gonna put some on today, so. How can I okay, so I did like half of my face so you guys can see the difference, but um, I really like this stuff. I'll definitely rebuy it, but it does cover quite a bit when no one ever ever could come close look around but i can't see that is usually just how it goes brought a new horizon open up our doors to something more spun me round. hands down favorite lip gloss ever the buxom um and this is the color dolly it's not gonna focus but i like dolly dolly's like my backup um claire is actually my favorite and i always like the kind with the sparkle in it and the shimmer i like a good shimmery gloss um i actually don't like matte gloss on me but that is my very fast easy look i think that took me maybe five minutes um it would have been faster if i didn't keep getting interrupted but anyways i'm gonna start um packing it is almost 12 o'clock this is like my little travel makeup thing, um, but there's a lot of unnecessary makeup that I don't need in here. So I'm actually gonna go through, clean this out, and this is gonna turn into my makeup travel kit slash face care uh, travel kit slash maybe hair stuff too. I don't know, we'll see how much room I have. But I'm hoping to get all my beauty products in this. <laughs> so wish me luck. Also in this video, I'll link everything below that I just used in case you wanna know what I just put on. Um, I know I didn't go through everything, but in case you wanna know, It'll be down below in the description box. Got me tainted to the core. So tell me, tell me, tell me what to do. I'm gonna keep sharing a bunch of products that I like currently am loving. The um, Isle of Paradise self tanning drops. This is the dark color. I get the dark because I like to use less product. It saves money and it goes like a long ways. I've used these for over a year now, but I just rebought them. I have, was out of them for a while, but I just use it like two or three drops in my moisturizer every other night. And it's seriously the best way to give yourself like a natural 
tan on your face and it doesn't make me break out or anything. Um, this stuff's just amazing. I cannot recommend this enough. You can get it at Sephora. Okay, I thought I'd quickly share like my skincare too because this is something I've gotten a lot of questions on. So I've been using SkinScript, which I don't, I think you have to buy from an esthetician. I think they have to have a license or whatever to buy this, but I switch between the Raspberry Refiner and then the Green Tea Citrus. Um, this one's a little bit gentler. This one I use when I'm breaking out more. Um, so those are the two face washes that I use. And then I shared this in my last vlog, but the image... Um, moisturizer is amazing. I'm obsessed with this stuff. There's a 30 SPF and I use this night and day. This is the only moisturizer that I use. And then this is what I use to exfoliate my face. This stuff is also amazing. Again, I got this from my esthetician. This just leaves my face feeling so smooth and so soft. So that's really all I've been doing. And right now my skin is the best it's ever been. Sometimes when I am breaking out, I have been using Dermalogica um, Age Bright clearing serum so I just add a couple dots um, or dabs onto my breakout but that is it that's really all I've been doing so I think I'm completely packed with all of my beauty products makeup that kind of stuff in here so I have all of my face care I just showed you my native deodorant I have a razor um, if you guys haven't tried this jojoba jojoba I don't know how you pronounce that oil from Trader Joe's my mother-in-law actually got me hooked on this but it is so good I love putting this on my legs after I shave them or just like if I have really dry skin I use this and this stuff's awesome I love it and then I also have this is a leave-in conditioner from function of beauty I'm gonna bring this because I like to use this on my extensions on this side I have makeup removing wipes I have my Isle of Paradise self tanning drops I shared this in my last vlog this is the best lip balm that you will ever find by image so good this entire makeup organizer whatever it's from target too by the way there's the brand of this from target tartan and twine but i would say that was a success so this is really how i wear my hair these days i just let it air dry and i don't really do anything to it but if i'm wanting to do like a little bit of an extra um like i don't know beachy look i use this tool right here and um, this is by Bedhead. I think I got it from Target or Amazon. I can't remember, but I'll link all this stuff too. But it's a three barrel roll and it's just really easy to add like some extra waves, like natural looking waves into your hair using this. So I love that. This is how I blow dry my hair. This thing is amazing. It's the Revlon blow drying brush. It's kind of gross, but I don't really blow dry my hair anymore. But if I do, this is what I use. And now that I think about it, this is the curling iron that I typically use, but I have not curled my hair since I got my hair done and since I got my longer extensions. So this is by Conair. I loved this when my hair was a little bit shorter, like more medium length. But now that my hair is a little bit longer, I think I'm going to need something more like this. This is by Lange and I feel like this will be easier to curl my hair with than that one like the the wand so I'm gonna bring this actually instead just in case I decide to curl my hair okay and then I'm also going to bring some of my gimme beauty hair bands if you guys have not tried these hair bands they're life-changing like they're so good um, they just hold your hair up really good so I'm just gonna take a couple of these Okay, so I'm going to leave all this stuff out, but at least it's together because I'll need to use it in the morning. I did make a list yesterday of things that we are going to need. Um, hopefully this is everything. I think I've already forgot to put a few things on here, but I have everything that Scarlett's going to need, everything that I'm going to need, and then just like some other random things that we will need for our trip. So I'm going to start marking things off on here. My mom has bought Scarlett a, a ton of clothes and pajamas and underwear and stuff like that. So thankfully I don't have to pack that much stuff for her. I don't want to overpack. That is my issue. That's what I do every single time I travel is I overpack and I'm going to try not to do this, this that this time. For the longest time I've been trying to find someone like you But I keep crashing back into all the things that you would do For the longest time I've been out in my mind Trying to lose every single trace of you Okay, taking a quick break to get Scarlett some breakfast or lunch, not breakfast. I just heated up some broccoli and she's having um, a turkey corn dog from Trader Joe's, and then some cantaloupe and some ketchup. Garla is in her room. She's supposed to be packing her stuff um, for the airplane, bringing some toys. Garla, do you want mustard? No, I no. want mustard. What is it? 
What is it? It's a crumb of something. Okay, it is currently 1.15. I just pulled out a bunch of stuff from Scarlett's room. I'm gonna try to get her down for a nap. Um, I'm making progress, Defin definitely making progress. What are you doing? I'm making sure that this cup, cup is clean. Oh, you're cleaning it with a makeup brush? Yeah, but some soap. Oh, interesting. And this that's, part is open here like this. That's where all my hand soap goes. I think that's enough. No, we don't need I to do, do that. I Thank do you. And then I serve it, and then I do it. I serve it and do this. Okay. Are you ready to go lay down now, please? No. Nope. Well, we're going to take a nap for a little bit, and then we're going to go see Daddy, okay? No, no, no we're going to see Grandma Christy. We'll see Grandma Christy tomorrow. She's mm -hmm. so, so excited. Just like petting your head. You're like a little kitty. I'm not a kitty, though. I'm Tiana. You're Scarlett? Yeah. Wait, who are you? Yeah. Tiana. Oh, you're Tiana. Yeah. She we're yeah. Tiana now, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Speaking of Tiana, today at the gym, Scarlett was, like when we were leaving, Scarlett was holding her dress like in a ball like this. And I'm like, why is my lighting so weird? What happened? Okay, that was weird. Anyways, um, she's holding like her dress like this and we're walking out and I'm like, what do you have in your dress? And she's like, nothing, nothing. And um, finally, I realized that she had a toy from the gym from the gym daycare and it was a little tiana doll and she it was so cute because she was like mom she's so beautiful she's so sparkly i think it was like one of those um princess toys that you get at the checkout line at walmart they have like these little mini princess um toys they're awesome we have a couple of them actually we just don't have a tiana one and she was like it's so pretty it's like my others so it was so wow. innocent and so sweet but we had to go walk back give it back she was like are they gonna be mad at me and i'm like no it's fine but little lesson there we don't take things that are not ours but ever since then she's been obsessed with tiana and has been asking for me to call her tiana if you guys watch my channel you know she's a different princess every single day so i never know what's right to call her and what's not all right lilac you've seen better days you have seen better days i will race you to your bed on your marks get set go Mom hack, if you need your kid to do something, race them. Okay, you do win. Here's your lilac. So I think this is everything for the most part that I'm gonna be bringing. Um, I have my shoes down here. I still need to get like all my electronics. So like my computer, my vlogging camera, my battery chargers, um, all chargers, that kind of stuff. But I am planning on running when I'm there. My parents kind of live out in the country. They're like on the outskirts of town. So um, there'll be some really nice running opportunities in the middle of nowhere, which will be awesome. So I'm bringing uh, three pairs of running shorts and then one pair of lounge shorts, my running belt um, or fanny pack, whatever you want to call it. So I can put my phone in there and listen to music. I connect my phone to my AirPods. I don't have like the the Apple Watch that plays music. So I have to bring my phone with me. I'm bringing a hat because I like to run in hats outside. It just protects my face from getting burned. A pair of sunglasses. My parents do have a pool, so we'll be swimming a little bit. Um, and then I have some denim shorts. I have three pairs. The top two are from American Eagle, and then those are from H&M. I have t-shirts because that's all I wear. So four t-shirts. And then I have, um, these are just some workout tops. Got four of them and then I have a dress just in case I don't know I feel like wearing something other than a t-shirt probably not but just in case I have two lightweight um, long sleeve sweatshirts they're from Target these are just basic tanks I like to wear these sometimes with denim shorts super simple I have my red um, swimsuit from American Eagle and then this one is from H&M this is a one piece I think I've shared that with you guys before I shared this one in my last vlog um, I have some sports bras regular bras this is where I keep like all of my underwear and socks it's really nice actually I got this at um, Victoria's Secrets years ago 
but I love traveling with this because I put everything clean here and then everything that needs to be washed over here. It's really nice. This is um, a little jewelry case by Vera Bradley, but I don't really have that much jewelry that I'm bringing, but I have my um, an extra phone charger in there for my AirPods and most of the jewelry that I'm bringing, I'm gonna wear. Down here, I just have two pairs of really basic flip-flop sandals. These are like my throw on, if I need to go outside kind of sandal. I've had these forever. Um, these are from Old Navy. These are from Pedal and Pup. And then I have my running shoes, which are by Asics. This is the luggage that I have. I bought this at Christmas from Dillard's. It's by Triforce Elite. I have no idea, but it's amazing. I got it on major sale. And then over here, this is what um, Scarlett and I are gonna wear tomorrow. So I have socks, um, this little matching set from H&M uh, with my gold jewelry. And then I'm gonna wear my Air Force Ones my Nike Air Force Ones. And then Scarlett's just gonna wear this little dress um, from Old Navy. And then these are her new shoes, sandals from Old Navy. And then she always wears these under her dress. I got a couple people asking me about that in one of my last vlogs, um, but she only wears dresses. So these little Cat and Jack um, bike shorts, this is actually a 2T, but she, they still fit her. But we have a million of these from Target. They're like five bucks, I think. Um, and they're just perfect for Putting underneath dresses, um, if your kid will only wear dresses, you need these. Okay, this is like all of Scarlett's clothing that we're gonna bring. I'm thinking I'm just gonna take one suitcase. Typically I bring two because we fly Southwest and you get to check two bags, but I don't really think it's gonna be necessary. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Okay, so I have like everything packed, but um, I wanted to share this because I know Father's Day is coming up. Um, I don't think I've talked about this too. For Ty, for Father's Day, what I did, um, we're actually going to visit his um, family. They go to like, they go up north um, typically for summer. So we're gonna go visit them. They're in Pine Top this year and we're gonna go spend Father's Day weekend at Pine Top. So I got us a hotel. I wanted to get an Airbnb or like a VRBO, but we kind of waited until last minute to book because we just kind of made that decision and there wasn't a ton of options left. So we're just gonna stay at a hotel. I would have preferred to stay at like a little cabin, but it's all right. Um, the only things that were available were just like really expensive, unnecessarily large um, homes. But we're doing that and then also I ended up getting him a new pair of running shorts too from Dix, but I've already given them to him because that's the type of person that I am. I'm the worst gift giver because I just like give it to them immediately. Anyways, um, I showed you guys what I got my dad, the Yeti stuff. If you guys didn't catch my last vlog, I got him some um, Yeti products. But I also wanted to go to Trader Joe's and get him like a bunch of like random foods and stuff um, because he loves this kind of stuff. So I thought I'd share what I got really fast. Little mini Trader Joe's haul right here of just like random stuff. Um, first things first, I got him the everything with the bagel seasoning. This is my favorite. I've actually never had this, which I know is like, this is like a huge Trader Joe's item. I've never had the cookie butter. Um, so I figured I got that and maybe I could try it with him. Uh, this is a new item, the um, organic watermelon fruit spread. It's like a jelly, so I got him that. Um, this is another favorite seasoning of mine, the chili lime seasoning. And they didn't have the um, chili, whatever you call them, the chili mangoes. So I figured he could put this on that maybe, and he might like that. These are just the um, soft and juicy mangoes. Um, this is new too. This is the watermelon jerky. Sounded weird, but I think he'll love it. And last thing I got for him is the iconic chili onion crunch. This stuff is my favorite. I always have this in stock at my house. So yeah, those are just like the random things that I got him to go with his father's day gift. Change of plans. I am going to take two suitcases because I forgot I had a bunch of clothes that I was going to take for my sister. Typically, this is what I do. When Scarlett outgrows things, I send them to my sister. Um, so this is all going to her. This is clothes that Scarlett's actually going to wear. Okay, so it's a lot later now. It's five o'clock. We've been, um, we had a run and Aaron, we had to drop Selene off my friend Bailey's house. And now we have Indy in the car because uh, Ty is actually watching him. I'll take it then. Ty is actually watching him while we're gone. So we're gonna go drop Indy off and hang out with Ty for the night. Anyways, that's our plans right now. We're like 90% packed and ready to go.
You guys, I just went to my mailbox to check my mail before I leave and I got these adorable prints in um, from Liana Lane. She is actually somebody I love following on Instagram and she makes the cutest custom prints and she made these for Father's Day. So that is Ty and Scarlet and I'm just, like that is the cutest thing. And then look at this one. I'm gonna frame this. This is the sweetest thing ever. I'm so excited about this. So I'm gonna frame this and also give this to Ty for Father's Day now and then I'm gonna keep this one and frame that. And then she also sent over this little card which is really cute um, in her handwriting. So I'll use this for my dad, which is perfect because I haven't got him a Father's Day card yet. But I love her simplicity of these portraits. If you guys are wanting something like this, check her out. I'll leave a link to her down below too. So the other things that I got in the mail, these are the books that I ordered. Um, this is Kindness Starts With You and this all came from Amazon. I ordered these like a week ago. Um, this looks really cute though. But this book is all about kindness and I think this will be a great addition to our books and then also this one this is called whoever you are this is a, seems like a really good book with some major diversity their skin may be different from yours and their homes may be different from yours their schools may be different from yours oh my gosh I love this this is wonderful Scarlett is gonna like this a lot too and then also I'm really really excited about this um, I looked for a while to find something that like specific like this that I was looking for. I was looking to find a coloring book. Um, some of these might be too old for her, but just with uh, different types of people um, with different variations of like skin tone and um, ethnicity. And anyways, I stumbled across this one and I thought this would be absolutely perfect um, for Scarlett and a good way to really introduce um, ethnicity and race and all of that. Also, on top of that, I ordered these from Crayola and they are um, multicultural ones. So there's a bunch of different colors, which is awesome. So those will go hand in hand together and be a fun little activity. All the way up the stairs. Go knock on the door. <laughs> I heard you coming. Andy, are you excited to be here? We just ordered in some culinary dropout and Ty's obsessed with the sandwich. It's called the turkey pastrami. And it's like on a pretzel bun. I've never had this, so I ordered it today to see what all the fuss is about. Is that mine? Scarlett got chicken and french fries. We are home, it's nine o'clock. I just finished doing my dishes. I took out the trash. Um, what else? Started a load of laundry like closed all my blinds. We went through Scarlett's iPad and made some downloads for tomorrow. And now I'm about to water all of my plants, trying to do all those things um, you do before you leave. So my plants need um, some food before I leave in order to keep them safe. I really need to get like a watering can, but um, this is what I use. I think that guy's gonna be good. That guy's good. I'll put a little bit in here. Okay, the last thing I needed to do tonight was just make sure Scarlett's um, airplane bag was packed. I might throw in a few more random things, but this is what we have. Um, her headphones, they're uh, frozen. And then she has, this is full of Hatchimals. She insisted on bringing this. Um, and then I picked up a few things from the Target dollar section, this tic-tac-toe game. This is that book that I got in. And this is her other book. She loves the unicorn book. And what else? There's just a few other things from the dollar section, like this little um, coloring set. These are awesome for taking on an airplane. They can put them on the windows. Keeps her busy for like two minutes. And then um, this little finger puppet story looked really cute from the tar Target dollar section. So typically whenever we fly, I just hit up Target dollar and that usually helps out a lot. And then this is what I'm bringing as like my carry-on. This is my Luli Bebe bag. And I like the big one. Like this is the regular size one, not the mini, because I can put my computer in it. So I just throw that in here. But in here I have all of our masks, handmade ones. Um, my friend's aunt makes these. And then I have my Janu ones. So I have a couple different ones in there. And then I also stocked up on some hand sanitizing wipes so I can wipe down like the seats and the tray when we get on the airplane. And then I also got this hand sanitizer, it's a spray. And I got these from, where did I get these? 
Thrive, Thrive Market, I think. Okay, I just finished doing some work on my computer and now I'm gonna go get myself ready for bed. Anyways, thank you guys for following along on today's packing vlog. It is 10.30 at night right now. I need to get to bed because um, we have a long day of travel tomorrow. I'm a little nervous for traveling um, because like masks are required and just like the thought of trying to keep a mask on Scarlet sounds um, exhausting, but it is what it is. And hopefully she doesn't give me trouble tomorrow, but um, otherwise it's gonna be a really long travel day. I will see you guys when I'm in Kansas visiting my family. I'm so excited. I will be vlogging. I don't know how much, but there'll at least be one vlog. And my sisters are already like asking me to make so many TikToks with them. So lots of TikToks coming up. You guys should definitely go check out my TikTok. If you're not following me over there, I'll leave my handle down below or a link to my TikTok so you guys can follow along. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.